Can I just tell you how nice it was on Saturday? Please do. Uh, I mean Sunday, because Saturday was, I was supposed to go hiking. It never got quite nice enough because it was raining where I was going to go. It didn't clear out. I don't blame you for that. I know. I thought it would clear out by the afternoon, but I also so told I you the mountains, you did. it could hang up, <laughs> and sometimes it gets hung up. That's so. okay because it, it <laughs> That's so because sorry. yesterday and today made up for it. Okay, good. But you, okay, so you had yesterday. I was like, today you had to work. Okay, so yesterday made up for it's it. So nice and the weekend. And the, right. and the week looks good. And this weekend looks I'm good. Already, I'm already looking at the weekend. <laughs> okay, good. Is I this mean, week? so everybody's Friday, working for the weekend. Monday. We know that. We know that by now. Uh, but if you do, if your weekend maybe is a Tuesday, Wednesday, or a Wednesday, Thursday, or if your weekend lies during the week, it's going to be good either way. So here's a look at tomorrow. All right. Hey, sunshine across the board. Looking great. Uh, temperatures starting off a little chilly. Mid 40s. We will climb into the 60s yet again. Mid to upper 60s possible as we head into tomorrow. And uh, if we don't get a little bit of a breeze, it'll feel hot. All right. So here's a look at satellite. All right. We watch this storm system out here, but that's going to shoot up to the north. So basically we stay nice. We don't really have too much coming into our neck of the woods. What we're going to be basically tracking, uh, the meteorologist here at King 5, is cloud cover and how thick or thin the cloud cover is because we don't really have much going on. So when we take a look at a couple of things going on up in the atmosphere, we got that big system out there in parts of Alberta, but not really impacting us here locally. Today, we had that northeasterly flow. And of course, as that moved in, we, uh, we of course brought in some of those showers up at the mountains. So as we head into tomorrow, uh, we're looking pretty good. This is Wednesday morning. We could bring a little bit of low cloud cover back Back, but we're still expecting sunshine. All right, we have a weak disturbance trying to slide in. I really don't think it's going to bring any precip. Uh, what it will do is it'll bring some cloud cover. Depending on how thick the cloud cover is, uh, we could maybe see a little uh, dew in the morning. But the, again, we, we'll be tracking. That's at the end of the week, all right? And so that's on Thursday. So Thursday looks a little more cloudy. However, the clouds will begin to break apart throughout the day. So I am still expecting to see some sunshine late in the day. And uh, basically that's a look. And then Friday we get those clouds to basically move back in, but they're not going to last long. Okay. So low clouds return Wednesday morning. We showed you that touch cooler by midweek again, like two or three degrees and then a mainly dry week ahead other than what I just showed you. So those temperatures over the next several days, uh, not looking too shabby at all. In fact, by the time we head into this weekend, we could be flirting with 70 degrees. No doubt about it. So here's your seven day 65 tomorrow. Mariners back in town Wednesday at 64. Again, you've got the morning clouds that we will battle Thursday, probably mostly cloudy. Uh, if we get some sunshine, it'll be late in the day. Uh, Friday morning clouds, afternoon sun and then the weekend. Look at that 69 Saturday, 70 on Sunday. So Greg, if you didn't go hiking last weekend, you could <laughs> this weekend. All right.